Hey everyone, welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host Scott Clayson and we are outside the Schwann Center which this past week hosted the National Congress of State Games Annual Symposium. This is an event that draws delegates from all over the United States who put on state games. They come together to exchange ideas and also have an Athlete of the Year banquet which we'll bring you some highlights of in a couple of minutes. But first the big buzz here on campus is the Minnesota Stars FC. They went down to San Antonio this past Sunday, beat the regular season champion Scorpions by a score to two to one, and advanced to the championship finals of the North American Soccer League. This is the second year in a row that the Stars have kind of just qualified for the playoffs, gone on a hot run, and made it to the championships. So we decided, let's talk to some of the Stars players and find out what is it about this team that leads to such great postseason magic. The last two years have been very similar, uh, almost almost eerily similar in that we went through a eight game skid last year, nine game skid this year without a win. Um, and then we, we kind of broke that win and, uh, and kind of just made a run from there. When it comes to playoffs, the intensity is there and the stakes are so, so much higher. You know, I think we have a, a group of players who know that at some point in the game, you know, soccer stops mattering almost, you know, it, it matters about what's inside, um, the kind of character that you possess within, and what you're willing to do to win. You know, that doesn't always come out during the regular season, you know, when every game is, you know, three points, one point, zero point, but when the stakes are this high, you know, I think we have a, a burning fire within that just says that we want to win, and we'll find ways to do it. Minnesota Stars, just as they did in the season finale, fine. Their first goal in the second half, this with less than 15 minutes to spare. The Stars are on the board. Their hopes of perhaps hosting the championship leg next week still very much alive. Manny brings a lot of trust to, to the guys. You know, he, he has confidence in the players that, um, you know, he'll put the guys out there that, that he's ready to roll with. And, um, you know, he's not afraid to make changes as we, as we go throughout the season. And, you know, it shows that for any player, you know, they can get called on at any time, and that includes the postseason. So it kind of keeps all the players on their toes and keeps them all ready, and so that when they do get their opportunity, you know, they're ready for it. You know, he's played at a very high level. Uh, he's won championships. He knows what it's like to be a player in pressure situations. So I think he takes into account he's a smart guy. Most of his preparation is not getting us hyped up, but calming us down. So making sure that you know we don't get overcome with emotion pressure doesn't get to us, I'm trying to take it just like any other game. You know, we're all good soccer players, we know how to play the game, and we just need to go out there and make sure that that's what we focus on. Every single player, you know, really has a role in this team. You know, whether you're the first player or the 30th guy on the team, every guy has a, has a role in this. You know, I, I think it just has to be uh, something that comes from within. You know, I think it's something that you know you can't really tell when you're when you're scouting players, when you're uh, when you're selecting players from a big group. But um, you can tell about the character within the team. And right now we have a group of guys who get along really well on the field and off. And uh, we can't stress that point enough that you know we go into the locker room and this is probably you know a, a very very fun group, one of the most fun groups that I've been with. And uh, and we're willing to battle for each other. When we go out there on that field, it's just an extension of what we already do and the friendships that we've already created off the field. Well, we expect everyone to come out and support the Stars this Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. in the NFC Stadium when they play the Tampa Bay Rowdies in the first leg of this home-and-home -home championship series. Well, as we mentioned at the top, the Schwann Center here last week hosted the National Congress of State Games Annual Symposium, and it included their Athlete of the Year Banquet, where they honor the male, female, and junior athletes. Now, the banquet also featured former Olympian Kerry Tollison, who came and spoke to the group. NSC TV was there, so let's take a look. rather than playing it safe. And that's what this whole sporting life has done for me. I'm not a gambler. <laughs> but you know, when you told the line every day, even at practice, it's about how tough you are and how you can play your hand. And some days are good, some days are bad. But I think 
in the grand scheme of things, I'm really, really happy that I do do that in life. I, I'm not a floater, and I hope you guys aren't floaters too. My main, my main saying in life is get after it. And I think each and every day, each and every month or year, we need to challenge ourselves. We need to see what we're made of. And you guys do that for all these athletes, but you need to do it for yourselves too. I'm, I was really amazed when I received this award or heard that I was going to receive it. I, I think the, the greatest thing I have is that I have a lot of fun of doing what I do. I enjoy working very much. I enjoy volunteering. And I also enjoy competing. And uh, if I didn't have fun, I probably wouldn't do it. But thank you all very much. All my hard work has finally paid off. I would like to thank my dad for training me into the high jumper I am today. And I would also like to thank my mom and sister for supporting me during all my track meets and throughout, throughout the years. And once again, I'd like to thank the State Games Committee for recognizing my hard work and accomplishments. Thank you. Well, congratulations to all three athletes of the year, and we expect to see you all out this Saturday night to cheer on the stars as they try to capture the North American Soccer League Championship. And that's going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Is there a, ever an equivalent of like in football with the trick play that you keep hitting the <laughs> uh, There can be. There can be, but if there was, I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk about it. <laughs> I think the beer garden's going to be on uh, Arango a little bit. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Trey, if you're watching, we're coming for you. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're rolling. All right. Three, two. Oh, are we rolling? Are you going to move the camera around while we're rolling? getting fancy. Yeah. Hello, I'm over here. <laughs> over here. All right. All right, rolling. The North American Soccer League Championship Playoffs and the, no, not championship playoffs. They're going to be in the championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three. Two, one. Hey everyone, welcome to NSC TV. <laughs>